I'm sound checking, but I'm not sure what city we're playing. I take a hit from my camel and I fix my whiskey craving. My whiskey craving. When the lights go down, I'll find me a hometown girl. Some brown eyed honey that thinks she wants to give me a whirl. She's probably gonna call me baby But she'll never be you when she damn sure ain't my baby So I drink and I smoke And I act like I'm okay And I guess we'll just keep going our separate ways Last night I started dialing your number and I just hung up I had it all rehearsed in my mind but my tongue got stuck Tonight I'm gonna close my eyes when she calls me baby But she'll never be you and she's never gonna be my baby So I drink I smoke and I act like I'm okay and I guess we'll just keep going our separate ways separate days separate nights wishing you were here and she's by my side in case you're wondering if you can't tell this living the dreams of living hell I hope you're doing well And I drink And I smoke And I act like I'm okay And I guess we'll just keep going our separate ways Alright guys, the song is going to be in drop C sharp tuning. That means uh, tuning guitar half step down and then lower your sixth string down a full step from there. So it'll go C sharp, A flat, D flat, G flat, B flat, and then E flat. Tuning guitar first or it won't sound like mine. The song is also going to be using some strange chords because of the tuning. So I'm not going to name them, I'll just leave them up with the tabs like usual. I'm also going to be referring to the strings in their normal tuning, so if I say low E, um, even though it's a C sharp note, remember that it's the sixth string. Alright, now we can get into the lesson. First part's going to sound like this. First thing you want to do is put your ring finger on the 3rd fret of the B string and your index finger on the 2nd fret of the G string and you're going to pluck the notes in this order. It's going to go E, A, D, G, B, G, D, G. So you're kind of walking down and then back up. So I'll play it a little bit slower. Next chord you're going to go is technically a G, um, but what you want to do is take your ring finger, put it on the 3rd fret of the low E string, you're going to pluck and slide up to the 5th fret. And then you're going to pluck D, G, B, and then you're going to switch to the next chord. Um, for the next chord what you want to do is you're going to pluck open A and you can't really hear this slide but you should still do it because it's kind of audible in the background I guess but um, use your middle finger to slide up from the second fret to the fourth fret and then you're gonna pluck the third fret of the B string and then an open G so
If you can't do that, then just leave your middle finger on the 4th fret of the D string, open G and 3rd uh, fret B, open A, and you can just pluck A, D, B, G. But I like the slide. So from the slide with the G to the next chord. From the beginning a little bit slower. Three times. A little bit faster. Now the fourth time you play it, you're going to start with the same two chords. So start with that uh, D suspended shape. Go up to the G. But this time you do an A suspended second, and that's just the second fret of the D and the G strings, and you're going to have an open A and an open B. But you just pluck A, D, G, B. So from that G to the A suspended second. Now all together. So that's how you play the intro. Next part up is the verse, and that's going to be really easy if you learn the second part of the intro, or the ending of the intro, because it's played just like that throughout the entire verse. So you're going to start with that D suspended second chord, go to the slide up on the G, and then to the A suspended second, and you just repeat that throughout the verse. So the verse will sound like this. Ain't no telling how long that sun's been. Cause it's dark as a dungeon while I'm lying here in this bunk I can hear him sound checking but I'm not sure what city we're playing Take a hit from my camel and I fix my whiskey craving My whiskey craving And that's pretty much how the verses play. In fact, all the verses are played like that. So keep practicing that and eventually it's going to become second nature. So next up is the first chorus and this is what it sounds like. So I drink and I smoke and I act like I'm okay and I guess we'll just keep going our separate ways. So for the chorus you're going to start with that slide up G. So with your ring finger on the third fret of the low E string you want to slide up to the fifth fret of the E string. Um, but instead of leaving the B string open, you're going to use your index finger on the 3rd fret of the B string. So what you're going to do is you're going to slide up first from the 3rd to the 5th fret, then you're going to pluck D, G, D, B, G, D, G. One more time. switch to a D suspended second chord. So ring finger third fret B string, index finger second fret G string, and you're going to pluck that like you did in the verse. So it's going to go E, A, D, G, B, G, D, G. From there you're going to move to an A7 suspended fourth is what Google told me it was. Um, but what you want to do is leave your ring finger on the third fret of the B string and use your middle finger or your index, whichever is more comfortable, um, on the second fret of the D string. And you're going to pluck A, D, G, D, B, G, D, G. One more time. to a G over B, 
And all you have to do is move your index finger up one string to the A string on the second fret and leave your ring finger on the third fret of the B string. And you're going to pluck in that same pattern. So A, D, G, D, B, G, D, G. One more time. From there, you're going to go back to the slide up G chord. Um, but this time you're going to leave the B string open. So ring finger, third fret, low E, pluck and slide up to the fifth fret. And then you're going to pluck D, G, D, B, G, D, G. And remember you're leaving the B string open again. there you go back to an A suspended second chord and that's again 2nd fret D, 2nd fret G. Um, you're going to use that in the second chorus but in this case you just pluck the A string to end the chorus. So from that G and then just let the A note ring out. So the chorus all together a little bit slower. Okay, once you get used to that chorus, there's just a couple changes in the second chorus. Um, it's going to sound like this. So the second chorus starts with the same two chords that the first one does. So start with that G and the slide up. D suspended second. Now here's where it switches. Before you just had to go to that A7 suspended fourth chord. This time you're going to go to what's called a D add four over A. And that's again your middle finger on the fourth fret of the D string and your index finger on the third fret of the B string. Um, and again, I like to do that slide even though you can't really hear it, um, but that's what you want to do. So instead of um, plucking the A7 suspended fourth chord, you're going to pluck the D at 4 over A. So pluck open A, fourth fret D, open G, fourth fret D, third fret B, open G, fourth fret D, open G. back to the G over B chord and what I like to do is I like to move my middle finger to the second fret of the A string and then I use my pinky on the third fret of the B string but use whatever fingers you're comfortable with and then you're going to pluck them in that same order A D G D B G D G So those two chords together. And then you're going to end the uh, chorus with the uh, G chord and then to the A suspended second. So do the slide up for the G. And then go to the A suspended fourth. Now this time it's going to be the second fret of the D G string and the third fret of the B. And you're going to pluck it like you have been the rest of the chord. So a, D, G, D, B, G, D, G. So the chorus all together a little bit slower. Now 
the last part of the song to learn is the bridge, and I find that to be the easiest uh, finger positionings to play. Um, but when singing along, I just I can't figure out the timing. Kip Moore's more talented than I am. Um, but anyway, the bridge is going to sound like this. show you why I think this is the easiest to play as far as finger position goes. Starting with the slide up to the G chord, again that's your ring finger on the third fret of the E string, slide up to the fifth, and you want your index finger on the third fret of the B string. So you're going to slide up, and then you're going to plug D, G, D, B, G, D, G, and then you're going to plug them the same way again. So you do once with the slide, switch to the next chord and all you have to do is move to the fourth fret of the low E string and plug the same pattern. So you do that one twice and it gets even easier you slide down to the second fret of the low E string and you're going to plug the same notes again. But this time the rest of the strings are open. So. Back up to the 4th fret, but leave the rest of the strings open again. All of that so far together. put your ring finger back on the 5th fret of the E string and your index finger back on the 3rd fret of the B string and you're going to kind of repeat yourself so E, D, G, D, B, G, D, G and one more time then switch to the 4th fret E leave your index finger on the 3rd fret of the B do the same picking pattern twice the A suspended 4th chord, so 2nd fret D, G, and 3rd fret A, and you can do the same picking pattern you did with it before. So A, D, G, D, B, G, D, G, and then one more time. So the second half of the bridge... together a little bit slower As always guys thank you for watching if you have any questions or comments go ahead and leave them in the comment box down below and to those of you who have been subscribed for a while sorry i haven't posted in like four months i've been really busy and my schedule hasn't really been uh my schedule hasn't exactly allowed me to do this as much uh or as easily so um i'm still going to continue to make videos just at a probably a slower rate um, than usual, but I'm still gonna try. So thank you again for your support, and if you've stayed subscribed, um, I really appreciate you. So see you in the next video.